recovered is probably the most offensive word for long haulers because that's how we're all described even in the media where they keep the you know um charts of everyone's at and how many people were recovered and it's actually a tool that trolls use to beat us with my name is Janine Crossan. Um, I am a 42 year old stepmom of three. I've been a stepmom for 10 years, but software is my, my bent. And we have a company called Powered by Flossie. I was the first person to be tested in Ponsonby. They all came at me with hazmat suits, which was a very scary proposition. Uh, the husband had organized a camper van to go in my driveway. Um, so that there was a way for us to be separate um, through that period of time. And uh, I was the first person to be admitted into North Shore Hospital. I got left to my own devices for four days. Um, I would do my own OBS. Um, they would come in once a day. And they would call me over the phone to ask me questions that they wouldn't have to PPE yet. The one common thing for everybody who's had COVID that I know of, not just the long COVID people, is that they have some form of post-traumatic stress that's gone with it. Because it's frightening. There's nothing more terrifying than being told that you have the virus that you are so unlikely to get in the first place and that this is the one that's scaring the whole world over and that you have it and that you potentially have infected other people who could potentially die and i've surveyed our long haul group and 95 percent of them will tell you that their, their mental health has taken an absolute hammering through this within our group there are people who are very vulnerable right now and if they do not get the help soon at some stage we, we, there's going to be a very bad situation that will happen and it doesn't make any sense to me we've spent billions of dollars keeping this virus out and these are the most impacted people and aren't getting any help they're not even on the radar it probably took six weeks to get to a level of better than i was and but what happened is i got my energy back is my body started to fail me post covid it was hit around april pain started coming back now i only had one remaining bastion of hormones left and it was one ovary everything else had been removed in my hysterectomy and we'd finally did an ultrasound he's like oh gosh you've got you know a sizable cyst and actually you've got a cluster of them the scar tissue attached to my bowel and that was what was causing the pain and the cysts and there's a you know tumor all the rest of it so they took all that out um and about the two week mark post surgery i wasn't getting better i was actually going downhill really really quickly and he scanned me again and it had all grown back and it would just be one thing after the other that would start flaring. So my, you know, my gut would become a problem. The thyroid would become a problem. Joints would become a problem. I went for keto, doing acupuncture, cranial osteo. Alternative was the only, that were the only people listening. I had a colonoscopy on Friday. I had 10 polyps taken off the left-hand side. But my stress cortisols are still completely off the charts. My hormones are completely wonky and all over the place. Uh, my blood pressure is lower and lower than it's ever been and I'm gonna eat top of heartbeat. Why have I not seen a heart specialist considering um, COVID issues are known very much to, to inflame the heart and cause issues? What can we do now to make them feel like you are coming to help? What can you give them? How can you connect them? Even if you connect them to GPs who have done more research, because the vast majority of GPs have never met anyone with COVID, don't know what to do, and haven't got the time to do the research. I feel like there's silver linings if we are open to them. My biggest fear is a vaccine comes in, everybody relies on that and everything goes back to the way it was. Never have I felt as proud of New Zealand as I do right the second and amazing opportunities that can come from this if we're smart about it. There's some cool talent coming home. We've added to our board some cool people and I just think it's a huge opportunity, but let's just not, let's not bugger it up. <laughs> let's make sure we keep, stay the course and keep doing what we're doing. Don't get bored.